Hiya folks, uh, here's a little video I promised a few people I'd put on, it's about uh, keeping your Lambretta cool or cooler. Mine generally ticks over about about 1.50, it's been turned off a few minutes now. And what was happening was, when I was giving it some thrash, after about a mile, uh, child tech would be up about 3.65, going on to 3.70, so I had a word with few people, Darrell Taylor, and he gave me a tip. I'd already cut this out. This here, that had already gone. So what I've done on this is, I've slotted where these screw holes are. Can you see that, slotted? And I've pushed it all, let me show you with my hands, that way, as, as near as I can get it to the fan. I think this creates a bit more, uh, bit more volume pressure. Um, and if you notice on here, look, if you've got your original one on, this little vent here, I think, is something to do with de-icing your carb, so I've blocked it off. And I've actually sealed all the way around, all the way around back as well. So it's airtight, it's just drawing air in from there. I did think about fabricating some sort of scoop. Uh, might be a good idea. Um, fastened onto air facing that way, and then trimming that back so it draws a bit more air. Anything that concerned me on that were probably water going in. Uh, whether they're doing any damage or not, I don't know. But this definitely works. It's a, it's a good little tip. Um, I'm getting to about 305 degrees now, tops. Um, and that's giving it some right thrash. Oh, oh. As you see, that'll rise to about 350, uh, 150, sorry, ticking over. It runs around average in about 250. Um, then if you properly hammer it, 305. So you've just got to make sure um, that that doesn't catch the fan. It, it did a little bit when I first put it all on, and then it cleared after a minute. Must have worn any edges off which were catching. But uh, as you see, there, there's no gaps, it's all sealed. That seems to do the job. Hope it does for you anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.